Hey everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you how I made this super easy grass landscape in Blender. You can use this technique to make a lot of different designs and 3D work to really bring your compositions to life. Let's get started. First things first, delete your default cube by pressing X, add a plane by pressing Shift A, scale it up a bit. Now you can press tab or go up here to go into edit mode, right click and subdivide. Change the number of cuts to something like 50. Now in your modifiers tab, add a subdivision and displacement modifier. Click on the sliders icon, change the type to clouds. In here I just increase the size to 1.1, then go back to my modifier and lower the strength to 0.2. I like mine to be a bit more on the subtle side, but you can experiment and get used to look however you want. After that, I open up my shader editor, create a new material, and this is where we are going to add our dirt or ground texture. I've put the download link for the file down in the description. For this, you need to make sure Node Wrangler is enabled in your add-ons. Now select your principled BSDF, press Ctrl Shift T, go over to where you saved your dirt textures, select all five of them and now blender will automatically set up the textures for you which is kind of nice what i like to do from here is tab into edit mode go into your uv editor press a to select all and then scale it up by pressing s now you can see that it looks a lot better and kind of hides some of that pixelation now for our light source we are going to be using an hdri but you're more than free to add your own sunlight if you wish. Using an HDRI is just an easier way of adding realistic lighting to your scene, especially for beginners. For your HDRI, change this from object to world, press shift A and add an environment texture. Delete any current light sources in your scene. Now you can click on your environment texture, press ctrl T, and this will allow you to adjust your HDRI later on. Now to actually apply your HDRI, just click on open and select it from your folder. This HDRI is a free one from Polyhaven. I also put the download link in the description if you want to use the same one I used. These are the adjustments I made. You can also go ahead and move your camera. You can either press N to open this menu here and change the values, or you can use Shift Backtick to move it around using your keys on your keyboard. Once you've got it positioned where you want, install Gscatter, go to your add-ons and make sure it's enabled. Now click on it, change the emitter to your plane, open up the asset browser, select whichever grass you want, and here I suggest you set these settings on low just in case your PC has a tough time previewing these materials. But I'm gonna set mine to high and medium, choose scatter selected and hit OK. And now you have some clumps of grass on your plane. To increase the amount, go to distribution and change the density to something between 50 and 80. You can also adjust the scale to make it look fuller and change its rotation a bit to add some randomness. From here, I just add a few more things like moss, leaves, and some plants to add some variety to the scene and make it look less boring. And now that you've got your grass landscape set up, it's time to adjust a few settings before rendering. I changed the camera resolution to 2000 by 2000 since this is going to be used for a square design, but if you're planning on doing an animation, 1080 by 1080 or 1920 by 1080 should work fine. Just make sure you have the right resolution for whatever your needs may be. I also enabled GPU compute in cycles, increased the samples, and although I typically don't use Blender's denoiser, I found out that enabling it when working with grass actually helps make it look a lot better. So I set it to open image denoiser for this project. One final thing I did was go to color management, look, and changed it to medium high contrast. This will just make the shadows a bit darker and make everything look a little bit less dull. Now in your output properties, make sure your file format is either in PNG or in JPEG. I'll be using PNG, RGBA, and 8-bit color depth. Now go up to render and render image. Bonus clip. So you want to add some more customization to your landscape? Go over to your systems collection, hide it for now. You can select your plane, go over to your sculpt mode, and with your brush, you can adjust its radius and its strength. Choose one of these brushes here. I'll be using the draw brush. And on your plane, you can add some more detail by going over it with your brush. I personally like to add a slight hill in the back of my plane, just for some added depth. Once you're done, head over back to object mode, unhide your system, hide everything else besides your grass. Now add an effect layer and choose weight mask. Now with this brush here, you can select wherever you want there to be grass. You can even do some nice drawings on it, adjust the weight, and just have fun with it. 
And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this tutorial useful, feel free to like and subscribe. Also, you can check me out on my other socials where I try to post every day. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe.